about. If you're excited, you're out looking at homes, you've probably seen the home that you think is going to suit you, and you're considering, do I make an offer, do I think about it a little bit more? In the current market, we're actually seeing that backfire a number of people carry on with. Yeah, last week we actually um, had a number of sales happening and we had four people that missed out because they were just a wee bit slow. Um, I guess that means that we're looking for more listings if you know anybody who's looking at selling. Um, but I just want to say, it's, look, it's a really difficult decision and, and it's certainly a difficult one if you're a first home buyer. Um, but don't be, don't sort of sit back and overthink it. I guess I usually call it paralysis by overanalysis. Um, you know when you walk into a home whether it's going to suit you or not. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people sit back, sit back, and then the house is sold and they're totally dis disillusioned and disappointed. So if it's right for you, make an offer, start negotiating. Um, and if that offer is accepted, be prepared to drive the process. You know, get your pest and building done, make sure your solicitor's moving forward. Often suggest to people that it's a good idea to make a, um, an interest deposit as well. No, I wouldn't worry about interest deposit these days. I think if it's got to the stage where you actually like the property, exchange with a cooling off period. Because yeah, well, it's the only way you can yeah. lock it in, even with an interest deposit. It can still be sold to someone else, it just means that you've got to be told anyway. And let's be yeah. honest, the majority of agents, if they're doing the right thing, should be telling people if another offer's coming anyway. Should yeah, be. Yeah, should be. <laughs> that, that's why I would say if, you, if you're dealing with, a, a, how do I put it, another agent, I would suggest that you put in an interest deposit if you're not in a position, like if you don't make the decision to do the cooling off period, um, because otherwise you may well miss out. Yeah, it also goes to on auctions. A lot of people will look at auctions and they think, oh, the auction date's not till then, till a certain time. If you are interested in the property, make an offer before the auction. I mean, mm. there's a number of properties that are sold before the auction date ever takes place. So it's one of those things. If you walk into the house, you like the house, don't be afraid to start the negotiation process, mm. is probably what we're saying. Um, because we see lots of people and we hear lots of stories and I say, oh, I missed out on that house, I was going to buy it. And the normal thing is, oh, well, how much did you offer? Oh, well, I didn't offer, somebody else got in under me. In that case, you were never going to buy the house because you never made an offer. So mm, the other thing we hear a lot is people that think they've been gazumped. Gazumped, just you know, a lot of a lot of the time, it's just they the offer that they made just simply wasn't good enough, and somebody's going to come in with a high, much higher offer. Mm -hmm. um, it's our job to get the owners the best possible price. You need to come in with a strong offer if it's the right property for you. Mm. Yeah, we try and certainly list it at realistic prop, uh, prices and if you need to uh, you know, get a loan, a value is going to come through, value the property and you won't be paying too much because they simply won't allow you to. They won't lend you the money. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think what we're trying to get to today is just that if you do go in a house, the house does suit you, don't be afraid to start the process, otherwise you're going to be the person at the end of the day who's looking back down and geez, I wish I bought that house when you see somebody else out there mowing the lawn one Sunday afternoon and enjoying the house. Anyway, once again, if you've got any questions at all about real estate, don't hesitate to give the team an unreal a call on double six five eight sixty forty two. Bye, have a good week.